Usually in mid-January, January, we see a whole lot more of this outside. This year, not so much. I know, and that is really hurting small plow companies who rely on this time of year to make the lion's share of their money. So tonight, our Kim DiGiulio shows us how these companies and their employees are coping. Plowing companies in January is the time of year when they make most of their money. But with conditions like this, those companies are hurting. It's been a very quiet winter for business owner Larry Donahue. I mean, it's crazy. This is the slowest January I've ever had. So already, you know, having to rethink, you know, purchases of equipment in the spring. Equipment for his snow removal company, Donahue Outdoor Services, which plows many commercial businesses after any snowfall. We're mainly in your parking lots. Um, we do some residential customers, but mainly we're in your parking lots all night. But with this mild winter, the money isn't coming in. Larry wishing he had set up a different type of pay method with his customers to plan for months like this, something he hasn't had to do in his 20 years of business. I declined a couple of seasonal contracts um, where those really help you here, where you have a one set price for the whole year. Um, and I you know, this time of year, I'm looking, wishing I would have maybe taken a couple more of those. It's a lot of sitting around playing the waiting game, hoping the forecast will change for these snow removal companies. Most of us are just sitting back. You know, I see some guys out trying to do some landscaping still, but myself, we don't schedule any landscaping or even tree removals um, this time of year because we are usually so busy. But busy is exactly the opposite word to describe Larry's situation right now. I can only clean my barn so many times. Um, we've already gone through the equipment for next year. So just sitting, watching a little Netflix, <laughs> trying to get outside and enjoy myself. Larry does, however, remain positive. He says you never know what could happen in the next couple of months. So fingers crossed for at least some snowy action for Larry's sake and all of the other businesses that rely on the snow. I'm Kim DeGiulio, Local 4.